Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronnie George. The topic that I'm going to discuss today is cost of filing a patent application in India. So this session will be important for inventors or patent agents who wants to know what is the cost of filing a patent application in India. Right, so let's get, get started with the topic. Before we understand the fee structure, there are a few things to be understood. First of all is the category of applicants. So the entire fee structure in the patent office is divided into two categories. The category A includes the natural persons. That means, you know, the inventors, the individual inventors who are filing the patent application. Then there is startups. Then there is small entities, that is the small companies and educational institutions like colleges. So all these kinds of applicants, they fall under the category A. Then there is category B, which includes other applicants apart from the mentioned ones mentioned here. So, for example, an MNC, you know, a multinational company. So that is a large company will fall under the category B. The other category is the others along with the applicants of first category. So this is useful wherein, you know, a patent application is being jointly filed by, let's say, a large company and a startup. So in that case also, the fees that has to be paid will be paid as per the category B structure, right? So that is others along with the ones mentioned here. So this was the first thing to understand. The second thing is the types of patent filing. So patent application can be filed either online, which is known as e-filing, or it can be filed physically by going at the patent office, and that is known as physical filing. Okay, so for e-filing, uh, if one is, has to do it, you know, they can just go to the patent office uh, portal and then they can submit the soft copies. If someone wants to physically file the application, they will go to the uh, patent office in whichever, you know, jurisdiction they are falling and then they can submit the hard copies or documents in the patent office so these two things are to be remembered when you are you know finding out the fees which you have to pay when filing a patent application now why are these important let's let's find it out in the next slides okay so uh, now when you are filing a patent application it's not just a single form that you are submitting right there are multiple forms that goes along with it so i have already created a video on this topic i will link it somewhere here so you can refer to that if you don't know what forms goes along with the uh, patent application that you are filing so there's form one form two form three form five these are mandatory forms which one needs to submit no matter what then there are conditional forms which you know which you have to file if you're falling under those condition or if that is your requirement for example uh, let's say form 26 is authorization of patent agent so this is the form which you have to submit if you are getting your application filed by a patent agent you're not filing it yourself but you're getting it filed by a patent agent in that case you have to submit this form 28 is if you are a startup or small entity or educational institution and you want to claim that status so in that case only you have to submit form 28 along with a proof certificate which justifies that you belong to this category then there's form 9 which is a form for early publication so if you want to expedite the process of you know getting the grant you have to file form 9 to early public publish your application then there's form 18 which is request for examination and then form 18a which is expert request for expedited examination so these, especially these three forms, these forms are to be filed in case you want to, you know, get the your patent granted earlier. But let's say if you're not in a hurry to get the patent grant, then you don't have to file this. So these, these forms that are mentioned here are conditional, condition based forms or conditional forms, which is not mandatory. So now let's see the fees that one has to file. Okay, so this is the fee structure. This is the main part of this uh, entire session. Okay, so uh, as I said, you know, there are two types of filings. One is the e-filing, one is the physical filing. So there is a slightly, uh, slight difference in the fee structure between these two. The physical filing is somewhere around 10% higher than the e-filing fees, right? Because patent office itself wants you to 
you know, uh, file the application online. They prefer that. And I think that is the best way since, you know, we have all moved to the online platform uh, more now. So that is the difference. So physical filing is 10% higher than the e-filing fees. Now in the filing fees also, you can see you know, the filing, the fees are divided as per the category, as we mentioned, you know, category A and the category B. So let's see the form one that goes form one is the application for grant of patent, which is a mandatory form. So if you are falling under the category A, let's say you are an individual inventor who came up with an invention who wants to protect that invention. In that case, you can file a patent application in 1600 rupees. Even if you are a startup or a small entity or an educational institution, the, the fees remain 1600. But Let's say if you are a company, if you are a large company, your cost will be 8,000 rupees. Okay. Then when you file a patent application, uh, if your pages in the application are more than 30, that is, you know, the pages which you have used to draft the patent application or to, you know, write the entire patent specification. If they are going about 30, then the fees is like you will have to pay 160 rupees per sheet let's say if you have 32 rupees uh, 32 pages that you are uh, filing in that case two pages are over 30 right so you have to pay 320 rupees that is 160 into 2 similarly if you are a uh, falling under category b then it will be like for 32 pages specification it will be 800 into 2 so 1600 rupees extra you will have to pay, pay along with the 8000 rupees then uh, let's let's see the for the claim. So as per patent office, ten claims are uh, accepted under this sixteen hundred rupees. But if you are filing an application wherein you have let's say uh, added three more claims, so there are thirteen claims in your patent specification. In that case, you will have to pay sixteen hundred plus three twenty into three. So that will be I think nine hundred and sixty, right? So 960 will be extra that you have to pay for those three extra claims. Similarly, if you are falling under category B, then 1600 into 3, 4800. So 4800 is something you will have to pay. Now, if you see this, if you compare this with the uh, physical filing fees, so see, there is a slight difference and the physical filing fee is higher. So uh, where it was 1600 in case of e-filing, for the same category A, it is 1750 in case of physical filing. So if you are going to patent office and filing, you will have to pay 1750. And for you know, the category B applicants, it will be 8800. So 10% higher than the fees which was mentioned in the uh, category B of e-filing fees. The same goes here also. 160 here, so 180 here, 800, 8, 8, 880 rupees. So this is the difference. Then goes form 2. Form 2 is basically nothing but the specification. So there is no fee, addition, any additional fee for form 2, but yeah, the same goes for the extra pages and you know extra claims. If the, if the claims and pages are extra, you have to pay. Apart from that, there is no additional fees for that form 2. Form 3 is a statement and undertaking under section 8. There is no fee for form 3. Then form 5, declaration as to inventorship. Again, there is no fee for form 5 as well. So that means the minimum cost that one has to bear uh, if they are falling under category A is 1600. So even with the 1600 rupees, you can file your patent application if you are doing it yourself. Okay, And if you are falling under category B, you can file the patent application under 8000 rupees. Apart from that, these fees are again, you know, as I said, it will depend if you are uh, adding more than 30 pages, which is not which, you know, 30 pages more than sufficient. But if you are going about 30, then uh, you will have to increase this accordingly. And if you are going above 10 claims, then accordingly, this will also increase. So this is the, you know, uh, main fees that will go. And now let's talk about the uh, condition based forms so we talked about the form 26 which is authorization of a patent agent so if you are uh, hiring a patent agent to file on your behalf see there is no fee for uh, form 26 as such but the patent agent will have their own you know professional fees 
at the same time if they will also have to submit a stamp paper at the patent office so this stamp paper will have some charges it can be you know 100 or 500 rupees based on which state they belong to so that is something that will be there then form 28 which is you know uh, to claim the status of small entity startup educational fee so there there's no fee to uh, submit form 28 you just have to submit a proof along with it um, that you belong to this category or you know you are a startup or a small entity or an education institution now let's talk about this last three forms again you know these forms are not mandatory but if you want to expedite your process of getting a grant you can submit this and the form for uh, form 9 which is early publication is 2500 for category A applicants and 12,500 for category B applicants. Similarly, for physical filing, 2,750 for category A applicants and 13,750 for category B applicants. Okay, so form 9 is only required when you want to get your application published quickly. If you don't, if you are not in a hurry, then uh, no problem. After 18 months, your application automatically gets published without paying any fees. Then there's form 18, which is request for examination. So this has to be submitted no matter what within 48 months from the earliest filing date. But let's say if you want to get the patent granted quickly, you can file this along with you know your application itself. So in that case, the cost of filing form 18 is 4,000 for category A applicants and 20,000 for category B applicants. When we talk about physical filing, it is 4,400 for category A applicants and 22,000 for category B applicants. Then there's request for expedited examination. So examination also, if you want to, you know, make it faster, then there is an, an option for that. So that is, you know, submitting a form 18A. And this is not, you know, uh, there for every applicant. So this, to, fall, to file a form 18A, you have to, you know, fall under a specific criteria. Uh, that criteria I'll discuss uh, maybe in another video. So you can check that. So if you're falling under that category, then you can, you know, file the form 18A and the fees will be 8,000 rupees for category A applicants and 60,000 for category B applicants. Now this feature is not there for uh, physical filing, right? So this, well, this was the summary of filing fees when you are filing a patent application in India and this is specifically for an ordinary ordinary application right i'm not talking about a convention application or you know a national face application after you file this again you know there are fees that go uh, after these steps but this is i'm just talking about the filing stage at this point but once you file this there are additional fees and so that was it in this session uh, i hope this session was really useful for you uh, let's Again, meet in the next session. Thank you so much.